All right. <clears throat> so, uh, this is going to be a fun video. I've been waiting for a while for this. Uh, my belated birthday present, my Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition. I've been waiting on this since August, and it finally it came out yesterday. Today is November 8th. Um, but due to GameStop um, completely fucking up all of their pre-orders, um, I canceled my order and turned around and found this one on Amazon yesterday in stock. Uh, and even with one day shipping from Amazon, I still was $4 cheaper than uh, my order from GameStop. So, fuck you GameStop. So, we're going to unbox this beast and then we're going to plug it in and fire it up now. <clears throat> The one thing is, um, we only have one 4K TV in the house, um, and it's upstairs. Um, so what you're going to see, because um, I, 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 surely a lot of people like myself don't have a 4K TV. My main living room TV is a 1080p uh, older Vizio LED. Um, so this is going to be a good video for those of you who, like me, do not yet have a 4K TV to hook it up to. We're going to get to see the difference from the Xbox One on 1080p versus the Xbox One X, which is supposed to be uh, enhanced 1080p. We'll see if there's any major difference, because um, it's going to be after the first of 2018 before I actually get a 4K TV to hook it up to, because uh, I don't really want to put this upstairs. I use it all the time for everything. So let's unbox this hose beast. I literally just threw the Amazon box away. It's been sitting on my porch for a couple of hours, which may be very uncomfortable, so I had to rush home from work real quick to get it. Uh, and then I'll have to go back to work and then we'll fire the sucker up when I get back. So let's unbox it. <clears throat> Obviously, I, I, like I said, I just, just got here uh, to get it off of my porch so that nobody stole it. See, you can see it's still sealed. The stickers, still sealed and everything. This has not been opened prior like most unboxing videos where they open it and go through what they're going to know. This is a totally impromptu Got to get home. Let's unbox it raw and real. So here we go. Going to very carefully cut these. All right. What do we have in this box here? Huh. So for those of you, this looks like this one big box just for this, really? This looks to be a vertical stand. Um, for everybody who was saying there wasn't one available, um, yeah. One comes in the box. See, I don't know. Let's see if we can see that. See? Come on, focus. Yeah. So this is the vertical stand. Everybody's bitching about, oh, it didn't come with a stand. Oh, yes, it does. Right here in the box. So there's that. <clears throat> I will not be using that. I don't understand the whole, I got to have my console vertical. That's, it makes no sense to me. And it's stupid. So to me, it's not even an issue. That's going to go right back in the box. So in this box, we have HDMI cable. Looks like controller. I cannot wait to see this. The Project Scorpio Edition controller. Yeah, babe, you know it looks so good. Project Scorpio Edition. It feels almost exactly the same as the current one controller. Um, so I'm happy about that. It's familiar. We have a couple of batteries. And then we have <clears throat> power cable. Along with some documentation for the Xbox One. Don't really need that. Um, hell, I still have my um, my day one 2013 controller, which I will show later in this video. Um, I mean, the the special edition thing is is my my bag. <clears throat> I did not buy an Xbox One S. I didn't see the need. Because it did, does not do true 4K. I don't have a 4K TV anyway, so that really didn't matter to me. Um, 
it was upscaled 4K anyway, and other than that, it was the same damn thing. So I did not buy one. Um, <clears throat> so, put this vertical stand back in the box, so it's out of the way. I still don't get the, the this whole box, this whole big, massive chunk of box for the damn stand. I, I, don't, I don't get that. I think that's too much. They could have just slid it in there or hell even fit it in here. Whatever. All right. And now the coup de gras. The console itself, I, it's already, it's a bit heavy. Um, but considering everything that they crammed into this shell, I'm surprised it doesn't weigh more than it does. So, bada bing, bada boom. Now, oh, there it is, Project Scorpio. Okay, I was like, so far I see no special markings on the box. Son of a bitch. But, boom, Project Scorpio, baby. The console looks... Um, <clears throat> exactly the same as the 1S. There are actually far less ports on this than there were on the original Xbox One. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, and here's the marking. I was looking for where it was going to be. So, let's see if you can see that number there. That number represents all of the release dates that are... are um, big moments for Xbox. 01 being the release of the original Xbox. 05 being the 360. 2010 being the Kinect. 2013 being the Xbox One. And 17 being the One X. So, I thought the box was supposed to have something on it too, but I guess it doesn't. So, <clears throat> there you have it. The Xbox One X. Project Scorpio Edition. Uh, I gotta say, I cannot wait. What is this here? <laughs> On the side it says, Hello from Seattle, Xbox One X. Good job, Microsoft, because they're based in Bellevue, Washington. Which, Seattle area. Alright, so... I'm going to go hook this sucker up, and uh, when I get back from work, we're going to fire it up and check it out on a 1080p display, and we'll see how this goes.